Hello, hi, Rajivji. Kamal here from Mera Sangeet and a warm welcome to you on our show, Chat in Chai. Uh, hi, Kamalji. Pranam, how are you? Very well, thank you, Rajivji. How about you? Very well, thank you. Uh, so, uh, we do have a few immigration queries uh, like usual, but before that, anything of specific importance for our listeners? Well, the latest news is that White House, who had decided they were going to act unilaterally without waiting for the Congress, which is Parliament, has declined to do so until the midterm elections are over. So after November of this year, and the White House press secretary said that we are very serious. This is the last delay that before the clock starts st- strikes midnight on December 31st this year, there will be an executive order from President Obama uh, improving immigration. So let's see what happens. Yes, uh, just a few months to go for the wait. Um, anyway, now, Rajiv, we do uh, move on to the query sent in by our listeners here. Please go ahead. Uh, the first one here says, what happens if my green card expires while I'm away on re-entry permit? Uh, this question does not make sense. Uh, let me think about uh, this. Hang, hang on, hang on. Let me, let, and, uh, hang on. Hang uh, on. Kamalji, a second. Let me reconstruct, I think, what they mean. Because this is all the information we have. What they probably mean is, I have a re-entry permit, which is permission to stay away from the U.S. for two years, up to two years. I'm outside USA, and I have been outside USA for more than one year. And now my re-entry permit has also expired, and I've been away for more than one year. The answer is, you now have lost your green card. The only thing you can do is, if you have a good enough reason, you can go to the consulate, and try to establish how these were circumstances beyond your control. Um, And it takes a lot to convince uh, convince the consulate. It's not easy. Don't think that's going to be an open and shut case. Uh, You have to apply for something called S as in Sam, B as in boy, SB1 visa, also called returning resident permit. So that's the only option you have. Okay, okay. Um, Another question here is about medical treatment. The person uh, is in the U.S. for some medical treatment and uh, says has an appointment in a hospital here. Uh, Though in the meanwhile, you know, because of the date of the appointment, the visa expires. So he says uh, what should be done, what should be the next course of action should you have to go back to India and uh, the medical treatment is also very, very important. So what should be done? Well, we need to understand there is a difference between visa and authorized period of stay. So when you land at the U.S. airport, even if you have visa for three more days only, the CBP, Customs and Border Mm -hmm. Protection at the airport, decides how much stay you can have. It can, Mm -hmm. usually it's up to six months. So you are allowed to enter. Now you have six months to stay in the U.S., even though your visa is expiring. So if it is just the visa expiring, we don't care. Uh, If it is the period of stay that has been authorized that's expiring, then you should file to extend that. And you do that by using Form I-539. Okay, okay. And if Uh... if if you file the form... Uh, before and the form reaches USCIS before your current status expires, you can continue to stay legally uh, and await the outcome of that decision um, or the date to which you ask for the extension, whichever one is later, whichever one is earlier. Okay. Uh, so Rajiv Ji, uh, there's another query here sent in by Alyssa. He says uh, he wants to know if he wants to Um, come and study law in the United States. He's already done law from India. And uh, if he has to practice in the United States, do you have to go through uh, uh, probably uh, another university there and study law in the United States? And thereafter, he says, uh, how can he practice? Is there a certain age uh, bar for that? Uh, You know, is there an age for them to start to practice a law in the United States? That's the question. Let me start with the, with the easy question first. Age. In USA, 
if somebody discriminates against you based only upon your age, they can be mm -hmm. held liable in courts for that. There is a age discrimination act which does not allow in employment matters employers to discriminate against employees because they are old or young as long as they can do the job. So USA is not like India where you have a mandatory retirement age. There's no such thing here. Okay? So age okay. is no concern. Don't worry about the age. Now, practice of law is a much more difficult question to answer. In the United States of America, we have 50 states. Every state has its own rules on admission to the bar. So you need to go mm -hmm. and look at the rules of every state. Okay. Almost everywhere you'll have to take an exam. And that's the bar exam. And it's a difficult exam. It's not an easy exam. You have to prepare for it. There are courses available to prepare for it. Uh, so first thing you need to do is look at the admission requirements for foreign lawyers for all 50 states and see what works for you. Okay. That's how, okay. it, that's how it would work. No. Yeah. So these were the queries uh, Rajivji sent in by listeners here this week. Thank you so much once again for your time. My pleasure, ma'am. And thank you for having me on your show. Bye-bye, Rajivji. Have a good day ahead. You too. Bye. Every other Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we host um, free community conference calls. Everybody is welcome to join. Some people post questions ahead of time. You can take membership in our forums. Uh, all of the details are there on our website, immigration.com. You can take membership uh, ahead of time. And, um, you know, it's instantaneous. It happens right away. And post your questions beforehand. Or you can just log in. Uh, the phone number in all are provided 202-800-8394-1230 Eastern Standard Time every other Thursday. We have uh, free apps for both Apple iOS platform for your iPhones and iPads as well as for Android. Just look for immigration.com, immigration.com, the period dot, and uh, the application should show up.